Today on the Topping Show, Bud Light breaks their Twitter silence, Titanic submarine, full story, Pentagon accounting error leads to the Ukraine getting an extra $6.2 billion, Facebook and Google News both leaving Canada, Ford to get a $9.2 billion loan from the U.S. government to make new EV batteries, TikTok COO steps down, Furby is back, Overhead.com wins the bid for Bed Bath Beyond Assets, and Zufu has a massive toy recall. All that and much, much more on The Topping Show. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Today's episode of Topping Show is sponsored by Topping Technologies. Topping Technologies is an IT value-added resource services company with a special proficiency in IT security. Heck, see their founder release twice a day. Kyle says he's quite handsome and brilliant. He's me, that's the joke. If you're an IT leader or business owner and need a little assistance, you can reach the team at sales at toppingtechnologies.com. Other interesting business news, you have Furby making a comeback. Now, Furby was a novelty toy originally made in 1998 with a price point of $35. And it was a cultural phenomenal. Within their top, their best 12 month run, they had sales of $27 million for that silly little poofy thing that made noises when you yell at it. it. Brilliant business decision to invent that little thing. And they even had it to the point where it had cheap, cheaper, smaller ones at McDonald's, which is historically speaking the largest toy company on the planet because those Happy Meals have toys. That's how many units McDonald's pushes. It's quite impressive. Now, it's been bought and sold. It used to be owned by Tiger Electronics, which is of course now defunct. And the, the founders actually sold it to them. So right now, the current intellectual property for National Furbies is by Hasbro. And they're going to re actually re-releasing re it right now. So if you want, you could spend $69.99 on the Amazon store. Now, it was a little disappointing because they don't look... They made it much more bombastic in terms of they're all very bright colors, very almost like a rainbow threw up on a little toy doll. So they're a lot more neon-like. And right now they're coming with 600 phrases as well as five voice activated models. And of course they have a bunch of lights and dance modes as well. Now for the other retailers, if you want to actually get it at brick and mortar, they're going to get it at July 15th, which again is another big plus for Amazon. Not only do they, not only do they have the convenience of having the largest e-commerce platform on the planet, but negotiations like this is also how Hasbro, if I were in the contract room, I'm guessing they got upfront. There's some upfront benefits. Maybe they got cash up front, or they have a higher percentage revenue share. But there's a reason they chose to have an exclusivity contract for the first period of the product. You see that with a lot of industries and a lot of different products, even keyboards. They have some exclusive stores where you can only buy that keyboard at one store. It makes sense. It drives attendance to that particular store, and it's usually a good ROI for both parties involved. So as you see nostalgia becoming more and more of a thing that people push and sell because it does sell, you'll probably see more of these toys. But it is interesting to see Furby make a comeback. At that price point, granted with inflation, it's probably relatively the same. I, it'll be interesting to see how many units they can push. I'm a little skeptical with, of course, you know, 40 year high, 40 year high inflation, people concerned about where the next paycheck's coming from, and do they need to spend? Because remember, it's not just 69.99. You have to pay sales tax depending on where you are. It's usually between six and eight to nine percent. So maybe it's a 70, round up to 70, so it's gonna be a 77. It, it adds up, needless to say. And again, it's a want, not a need. For now, until they infuse AI capabilities or some magical capabilities into the Furby so you can do your taxes for you or something. Time shall tell. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in today. Cannot thank you enough. I really appreciate it when you take the time to like, subscribe, and comment. It really helps the channel out, grow, and develop. Really trying to get to a goal of 3,000 subscribers in the next 30 days. We'll see if we can get there together. Also, don't forget to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers. Heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone to stay safe and fight the good fight.